Hello everyone, this is my next video for question number unright same tree. Basically, what the given question? Given the root of a binary p and q, they given one binary tree with p, other is q. Okay, we need to write the function to check the both the trees are identically the same or not. Okay, if they are identically same means just we need to return true. If they are not same means we need to return false. In the example one, what they given? They given root one with uh, left to two and right three. In example one, the second tree what they given? The root one left to two, right three. You can observe see the root as same and the tree one left as same and tree two left as same and tree tree one right as node same and tree two right node as same. So we are returning it true. See in the example to what they given they given uh, two binary trees. Okay. See the root as same but in the tree one left child in tree two there is no left child. Okay. Let's we can tell it is not identically we can return false. In example three see in example three see uh, they given two, two binary trees we need to find which is uh, these are identical or not yeah root is same here left child as two in this left child as one these are not same so we are returning false let's we can proper understand in the whiteboard how the same trees are going to work just what we need to do we need to find that tree one is identical to tree two or not if Identical means just we are returning true. If they are not identical means we are returning false. We can solve by using the uh, three traverse style. Anyone we can approach in order or pre order or post order. Next we can see how the pre order is going to work. Pre order means what? First we will traverse root, then left, then right. What we are doing? First we will be in the root. This we can consider P, this we can consider Q. We will check the root as same. Then we will recursively traverse left. Now left child in P and Q in left child will stuck. That they these are same. They having same values. Then we will recursively traverse right. We will check this value in the P uh, right child in the Q right child. We are checking. Yeah, these values are same. Then this root is calling this left child. Yeah. Now we are checking in the P. Now we are checking in the Q. This left child four. These values are same. Then we can tell these two are identical. We are returning true. See in this example, first initially we will be start from root, then we will traverse left, okay, and then right. See in this the root are same. Here P and Q root are same. Then we will traverse recursively left. Here left child is two, but here see the left child is null. Then we can tell these two are not identical. We can return it is false. Okay, this is the La approach by using the pre-order traversal. We can use any traversal. Okay. Next, we can enter into the coding part. We given e same tree as function. We pass the parameters of p and q with the tree node type. First base condition. If both trees are empty, means we will tell they are same. Now I will write the logic for that. If not equals to p. And not equals to Q. We will return true. See, if both the trees are empty, means just we will tell that they are same, they are identical. We will be returning true. Now, if either of tree is empty, means they are not identical. We will tell they are not same tree. We are just returning false. Now we are checking if the values of the nodes are different. Then we will tell these are not same tree. These are not identical. We will just we will return false. Just what we are doing, we are checking the p value and q value. If they are not same, means we will return false. Now, if the p value and q value are same, means what we are doing, we are recursively checking the left and right subtree. Okay, both the trees we are checking. If they are same, means we will tell they are same. They are identical. This is the base condition. Okay, if both the trees are empty, means then we will tell the the trees are same. We will return true. In this condition, if any one of the trees is empty, means we will tell it is a false. Okay. In this case, uh, there is a left child and right child. We are checking. We are checking recursively. Okay. Now we are checking. Uh, it's left. Okay. In the this is a P tree. This is a Q tree. We check recursively left. Yeah. These values are same. Then we will be recursively traversing left. This is null, and this is child also null. 
now we will traverse the curve to the right this is null this is also null we'll go back now root has completed left has completed now we will traverse the curve to the right this right is c and this q right is also c now we'll traverse left it's null we'll go back this left side is also null we will go back now we'll traverse the curve to the right this is null we'll go back now we'll check this q right null we will go back now traversal has been completed now we will traverse all the nodes we got all the same values then we will just we will be written it is true okay this is the approach let we can understand the time complexity and space complexity of this logic time complexity is taking b of n here where n is the number of nodes in the binary tree we are visiting all the nodes exactly once so it is taking the time of b of n when it comes to the space complexity space complexity is also taking big of n for every node we are calling the function here function is using recursive call stack to traverse it will use one space for each node for n nodes it will takes n space so the space complexity is taking big of n let's we can run the code now yeah this is accepted solution let's we can submit yeah accepted Thank you guys for watching my video. If you like this video, please give a like.